Today, friends, this is the BMW Super... Wait, the Toyota Z... Wait, it's fine. I can make the joke. I owned one of the... I mean, the... For God's sake, this is never going to leave my head, okay? This is going to be close up and personal with the Z4. In the Crew 2, this is a brand new car being added to the game in the next couple of days. So be on the lookout. All the details will be down below in the description. Ubisoft have given me early access to this update to have a look at this car with you guys. Now, I need to basically get in. I want I want to have a seat. Open the door. I always forget that you can do this. And as you can tell, I've clearly done that before. Have a sit in the car and have a look at this interior. Now, steering wheel, again, although being the wrong side, <laughs> it feels very similar. I'm going to say it looks a little bit, the screen's a little bit better. Everything else looks a little bit cheaper than the Supra, which is weird because it's the newer stuff. The dials, I'm going to say the Supra looks nice. The interior, definitely. Supra has it. The doors are very similar. All right, on the exterior, again, it's just down to preference, isn't it? This looks pretty good. I would say overall, the Supra is a much nicer version to have, but it's the same car. I've driven the Supra, obviously, I've driven BMWs before. I have to say they drive very, very similar, even for the past 10 years of BMWs. And this is interesting because the dimensions look a little bit odd, don't they? The actual Supra doesn't, and in most games, this car doesn't either. But in case you didn't know, the crew didn't have convertibles properly until this update. So let's have a listen, see what this thing sounds like. Let's see if they've got a good sound. I think Forza had a pretty good one, but I'll shut up now because I've been talking a lot. Right. Here's my thing. They've done a they've done a custom sound. I don't think this is on any other car they've done in this game. I think it sounds like the M2 that's been tweaked. And honestly, this is not what it sounds like. The up shifts, that is what the super sounds like. Only on load here because we have diesel filters. But in the US, it does sound like that. I'm gonna say that's decent. They've definitely tweaked the handling, actually, of the, the cars, by the way. I didn't mention that in the previous video. They've definitely made cars a little bit less turny. <laughs> Let's have a look at the interior in motion. Now, here's where we say, if there's no customization for this car, I will be angry. This car needs it badly. And if there is a... I guess it was in Need for Speed as well. So uh, if it's not got customization... I'm going to be angry. To give you an idea, the stats, this has clearly been fully upgraded. We've got 700 horsepower from the get-go, 2.5 seconds not to 60, and all the other stats you can see there. Pretty sick. All right, customization time. I think, without further ado, we're going to have to do it. Now, there are visual parts here, which is a good sign, but there was already for the Bentley. We're going to jump to colors. I like the white. I think it's pretty sweet. I think black hides too many details. We should have a blackout grill option if we do black as well. That would look pretty sick. The gray, you can also get it in the matte gray. Is there actually, yeah, there are, you can get the matte gray that the Supra comes in and you can buy it as an option on this car. There's so many things about this car. It's, it's such funny timing because my replacement for the Supra has just arrived. But you know what? It does look pretty cool with some bright, colors. I think we'll decide on colors a little bit later because white is a good benchmark. Visuals. Yes! We got parts, baby. Let's get it. Three hoods. We got some dimples, some crevices. That's pretty sick. I'm 14. Five. That's a decent amount of bumpers. That's a decent amount. So we got yellowing of the light. So I guess <gasps> blacking out the grill. Thank you, Ivory Tower. You guys. Oh, it's already looking a lot nicer. Carbon out the grill. Man, they're doing they're doing God's work here. They've actually changed the bumper completely on this one. I say completely, quite a lot, which is pretty interesting. But I'm gonna say that's a bit tamer than the BMW bumper. I'm gonna go for the BMW bumper with the carbon. Very spicy. Wide body. Oh no! Nah, come on, you can't do that to me. You can't show me a fender and it not be a wide body. We'll come back to the wheels. These are the, the exact same wing mirrors because I got Z4 carbon wing mirrors for the Supra. I still got those. <laughs> I have no car to put them on, but maybe if I buy another BMW, bit of size skirtage. There's no wide body kits. That's a shame because I know in Need for Speed there are wide body options. The crew is actually weirdly late 
to this one. I don't want to jump into the wings just yet. Also, Ryzen 4 and Need for Speed got this car first, which is just not normal. Absolutely not normal. What are these wings? I am not happy. Tiny, tiny, tiny wing. Disgraceful. Who would even put that on? Don't put that on. Don't be a baboon. Just, just put one of these on. They're so much better. Put the carbon version on. If you're in 1440p, you'd know that. <laughs> All right. Rear bumper. Let's have a look. So as you can see, we're just blacking out the lights. That is nice. That's actually better than the BMW design, in my opinion. Anyway, carrying on. The diffuser got a little bit cleaner with this option here. I don't normally go for the clean option. Here we go. Now we're getting a little bit more ivory tower. We're going to carbon out the bottom as well. That is my favorite so far. And we're going a bit more BMW here. Interesting. I think I'm going to have to go. I'm, I'm a double tips man. <laughs> Quad tips man. I don't even know what you call it. All right. Not the best build for the BMW, but... It's a good middle ground between this and Need for Speed, and we can finally try out these dumb wheels. What on earth are the? What on earth? I'm gonna put them on. Just I just really, really want to try them. <laughs> I just I think it's just a bit odd. Now the red, I mean sure, and maybe a bit of a bright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That red suits it very much. We're going for the blue. Looks pretty spicy. I like the standard version of it. It just looks really bright and popping, doesn't it? And of course, you can do a livery, but right now I'm playing on my own because nobody else is... I mean, there's a few people, but not as many. Let's jump into this smoke this time to choose something a little bit different. And we also have multiple different nitruses. And we have this weird, like, laser scanning because it, the agency is the theme for this. So we've got a white cloud tint. Pretty cool. It's similar to the gold one we had last time on the Bentley. And of course, we got some horns, which they're horns. And we're straight back outside. Now, the one thing that would be super cool is if the Toy Toyota made a convertible version of the Supra. Because that they I know they did, but they're not planning to really they're not planning to release it at all. But we're gonna have a look at this beautiful boy. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Show us. Oh! That's pretty spicy. The blue looks much brighter. Than it does on my arm. Like, I can see it on the capture card so much brighter. But the wheels, I think they're the in thing at the moment, aren't they? Like, covering. The, I think everyone's going to start following the trend soon. Manufacturers, and then we're going to start doing it. Because I think it actually looks pretty nice. And it helps too. Oh, we get the smoke as well, of course. You know what? That works. I don't usually like putting smokes on cars, but... That works pretty nice. I think this may be one of the fastest shifting cars in history in the crew. It's just, it's a little bit mad, to be honest with you. It's a little bit crazy. Look at the store. Oh. It's making weird noises. It's got some extra noises for the boost, but the boost is so long that it just kept playing them on loop. I'm going to say this is faster than the Bentley for sure. The up shifts are so good. It's so quick. If I let off, does it pop? It's got some pops, but they don't sound fantastic. They sound more like, I don't know, we even for a mini, they would be weedy. Interesting. So this is the M40i, if you hadn't realized. So that is literally on the Supra. If you go on the screen, it actually says Supra, was it 40i, something like that. It's just like, come on, man. Just because I know I'm going to be shouted at for doing these wheels, I'm going to show you it without these two. Of course, it's still got the normal wheels. I'm going to take those off. All right, if we go over to the wheels once more, I took them off. We can have a look at some of the wheels that are actually available for this car. So there's a bunch of BMW ones. I really like the blacked out BMW ones. Maybe with a bit of chrome, it actually looks super spicy. And we can't change the wheels, the size of the wheels for the BMW wheels, but can we do it for anything else? Choose them in this. Yeah, we can make the wheels bigger. I'm going to make them bigger. Like, I wouldn't ever have wheels this big because it just looks a little bit silly on this car. Okay, from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. But then we can put bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined it again. Here's your look at the BMW with the BBS style wheels. I think they look really nice. Like, it's a good combo together. I mean, BBS on BMW, it like the style at least, it just makes sense, you know? It just it makes total sense. Let's go for a hoon again. I, I want to see what, like, speeds we can get out of this thing. I probably should have come to somewhere with a little bit more space. <laughs> I say space. A little bit straighter roads. So, I'm going to say it slides a little bit more than the Bentley does. Of course, it's 
much lighter than the bloody Bentley was. But I did suspect that they've done some change of the handling, and I still suspect it now. It feels more boaty than ever. I'm not too sure on this handling. I, I think they've tweaked it, and it's... It's, they seem to have been going backwards with the handling a little bit. We'll see. It might just be these cars, but uh, time will tell. I don't, I'm not particularly enjoying how these feel. Give it some beans. In and up mountains we go. I mean, it's a street car. I don't think you can expect much more than this. I think it's going to be pretty quick. This is definitely something I want to take to the PvP to give a go. For sure. For damn sure. But there you go. The M40i. What do you think of the Z4? Do you like it? Would you rather have the soup than a soup? I know for sure I would love to see the Super in a game. Please hurry up. I know it's in mobile games, so you guys should be getting it too. Please. I mean, it's also in Gran Turismo. But I need a game with visuals. Please. Watch Forza get it first. Please. Give me some rice. Put it on Need for Speed, no limits at the very least. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your preference of which car you like the most currently. Is it this one or the Bentley? I don't know. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in more Crew 2 content super soon. Until next time, guys. Peace.